let's uh, let's talk about the NFL Week 13 previews. I know we have the Steelers game and the Ravens uh, going on right now, but it's already time to look ahead to next week. I know the NFL has has pushed some games around and all that kind of stuff, but it ain't changing our schedule. We got our schedule set in stone. They got to get back right with us. So let's talk about our previews for this week. We're going to give out spread picks on each one of these games. And we'll start it right now. NFL Week 13 previews. Let's start off Lions and Bears. Division game, two not very good football teams. Matt Patricia no longer the head coach. There is no GM in in, uh, Detroit now. Uh, Rumors abound that Harbaugh looks like he might be the next Lions coach. That would be comical to me a little bit. Um, But, hey, I mean, you never know. We'll see. Uh, The Bears have a pretty easy run of it at the end of the season here. Do they start off with a win? Are the Lions just done now that their coach is gone? Or is this another situation where, you know, team fires their coach, team shows up fired up that week, they play over their heads, and and the Lions find a way to get a win on the road? Well, so far, we're two for two on teams that fired their coaches winning the next week. Yeah, that's, that's kind of what I was thinking. I really, really, really wanted to take the Lions this week because of that. I like this Bears defense. I do. If they can put together any semblance of an offense, I like this Bears defense a lot. Did you They're see just the picture getting crushed by a bad offense? Did you see the picture of, of Mitch Trubisky like trying to talk to the team and there's a guy in the background that is just looking at him all goofy? Did you see that? No, but look, I gotta look just, that up. He was looking at him just like Come on, man. Why, why like, are you talking like, to why, us? Why are you talking no, to us? No, can we get Roquan? Can we get Khalil? Like, can we get a real leader up here? So here's the problem with the Bears. This is this is the offensive problem that I have with them. Kirk Cousins is not a good quarterback, okay? But the run game is so good that you have to worry about it so much that even when they're not running the ball well, Kirk can do a lot of dangerous things, all right? Alex Smith, not a great quarterback, having a rough year. But they're running the football so well that it means it opens everything else up. There's a lot of teams, Baker Mayfield, not a good quarterback, but they run the ball so well, it opens it up. Chicago can't run the football, and they have a moron that's completely talentless at quarterback. And on top and of that, hold on. On top of that, you've got that makes Nagy. for a bad combination, by the way. Oh, it's a terrible combination. But on top of it, you've also got a head coach who the players have openly said doesn't know what's going on on the they field. Don't, they don't trust him. This is not a good combination. Now, the fact that they can keep these games close and stay fighting in them says a lot. It says, it says a lot, a lot about, the, about the, the quality of the talent around this inept quarterback and these you know, the, the, the struggle on offense, the leadership on that defense. I just, I can't pick this game. Oh my God. If you put a gun in my head and said, make a choice, give me the lions. Just that's, straight that's where I'm going. Calls. I, so far it's two for two on teams fire their coach. And the next week they show up just red assed and ready to play. And I don't know. I just think this Bears team offensively, if they had a great run game, I would trust them so much more. If they had any the, semblance of a run game. Oh, uh, right. Yes, yeah, yes, any run game at all. That's right. I would trust them so much more. The fact that they can't run the ball, and I'm putting my entire faith in either Mitch Trubisky or Foles, I just can't do it. Casey jumps in. The Bears are going undefeated the rest of the year. Book it. Casey. Well, it's pretty easy going, and I yeah. think that that last game they have the have they played the Packers twice? Uh, no, no, yes, no, they have. Yes, stuff yes, up. yes. No, 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 they have. They have. They I think have. they got one good, one good team left. Let's see. I'm looking it up as we speak. Um, let's see. They have got uh, the Packers on January the third. So oh, yes, they, they've only I don't played. Think them they once. play the Packers twice, but it, here's so they're what not they running the table. They they got the Lions this week. They got the Texans. They got the Vikings, the Jaguars, and the Bears. So all of their well, they can't play themselves. I mean uh, uh, the Packers. Sorry, the Packers. Okay. Um, um, all right, that Vikings game is going to be tough. That Packers game is going to be tough. Without Will Fuller for the rest of the year, now that that Texans team is just trash. Yep. Yep. We'll get we'll get to them in my gambling picks. Yeah, I'm I'm rolling Lions here. I'm rolling Lions. Um. Moving on, Colts minus three and a half at the Texans. 
So, this is all the noon slate on Sunday, by the way. There is no Thursday night football this week because the Ravens, of course, are playing tonight, and then they will play yeah. again next Tuesday against the Cowboys. We'll uh, we'll talk about that here in a minute. Um, Colts minus three and a half. What what am I missing? I, I think the Colts are a substantially better team than the Texans, and, and I know that the Texans have looked okay as of late, uh, but Will Fuller got popped for Peds. Uh, Roby got popped for Peds. I think that might be, you know, two of their – you know what, like four best players on the team. Well, Will Will is their second best player outside of yeah Watson. I, it, it, so only three and a half. Like, give me the Colts all day here. This, this well, line you can find sense. three. Oh, can you? Hell I, yeah! Um, I had them earlier. I saw uh, like a bet online or something like that. But I, no, most Bovada's of them got three. Bookmakers got three. Bet online's got three. Oh, then that thing's moved down a little bit. Now, so, everybody else, everybody yeah. else has three and a half. Yeah, K-Storm said Colts with the points. Uh, Birdie said no Fuller, no Cobb, no Stills, no Johnson. How is this Houston team going to score? Uh, I don't know. Look, I, I I trust Deshaun Watson to be able to find ways to get it done, but man. This but I don't, I, I don't. Not against this Colts defense. No. He's not magic, okay? He can't just wiggle his nose and make stuff happen. Yeah, I'm I'm all over the Colts. Um, yeah, I, I like, yeah, I like the Colts. I like the Colts a lot, so. Um, Me too. Moving on from there, let's talk about another division game between a, a team that showed a little bit of life here lately, and that would be the Falcons at home, plus three against the Saints. You know, Saints with Taysom, last week was just it tossed that game out. Like, I mean, what are, what are we even doing? Um, I I feel Saints here. Like, I know you can get a two and a half for the Saints. Yeah. I think that's the way to go. Like, I understand the, the Falcons just blew the doors off the Raiders last week. I get it. But I, I still think the Saints are just a significantly better football team. Like, you kind of feel the same way here? Yeah, from top to bottom, they are the better team. I, I think the only reason this line is as small as it is is because we saw the Falcons drop 40 um, and beating the hell out of the Raiders last week. And you well, the know Falcons I, I always, love... even, even when the Falcons are terrible, they always seem to find a way to beat really good New Orleans teams. But, I, I mean, it's happened multiple years in a row now. So, this is why I'm so I, conflicted on it, right? I'm not. I'm not conflicted at all. I, I like. I like the Saints. I think this Falcons. I think what the Falcons have done the last couple of weeks is just fraudulent. I mean, that, that's. You know, I like betting against teams that play way above their head the week before. And so Casey jumps in. He said uh, uh, the Falcons game or the Saints game is a trap game for sure. Uh, yeah, look. It, I mean, it's not like the Saints have anything to look forward to. They get the Eagles next week, you know? Like, the Eagles game I could see being a trap game because they got the Chiefs coming into town the week after that. But, like, what, what are you Listen, looking forward with, to here? With, with Taysom Hill as your quarterback, no game is a trap game. They're not overlooking anybody, and they're not looking forward to anything. And they ain't overlooking they, the Falcons at all. No, they're not all. overlooking the Falcons at all. They hate these. This is one of those most, this is one of the most underrated rivalries in the NFL. Oh, they hate each other. They really they, do hate each other, and uh, nationally, we don't really talk about it. Yeah, I mean, it's it, not it, it's, it's not Steelers, Ravens, it's not Packers, Patriots, Bears, Jets, or, yeah. or anything like that, or, or whatever. It, it's yeah, Packers, Bears. It's not it's not any of that. It it's just a really hated rivalry, though. Uh, let's see, embarrassing loss by the Falcon from K Storm, uh, but they uh, he said their Super Bowl game against the Saints uh, it never fails, uh, and then Casey jumps in. Falcons money line, just saying. Hey, and maybe so, but I, I can't in any good faith put my money behind the Falcons. I just can't do yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, I, I refuse. Not not against the Saints. I mean, that just. No, I'm okay with I'm okay with losing, but I'm gonna go down betting against a team that I just don't trust. Yeah, I I agree. I agree. All right, uh, moving on. Browns at the Titans. This one opened at three in favor of the Titans. It is now at six, and I think that that's right. I think we're going to keep moving up, and I think that that's the right direction. I think this Titans team does exactly what the Browns do, only better. They got a better quarterback. I think they've got a better defense. I know we get Miles Garrett back this week. I do think the Titans are going to win this game by a touchdown. Uh, they they play to the level of the competition, and I, I think they're going to show up this week in, in a big, big way. Uh, I, I would imagine you're probably going to take your brownies. Yeah, but 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 your logic is is wrong here. Okay. Okay. Um, it's not they do the same things. How do you beat the Browns? You stop the run. You stop the run. What was the Titans known for, and what have they been known for all year? Uh, not what I have no idea which direction you're going. Being terrible against the run, Gary. 
I, what, uh, but, what about but, the first like seven, eight games where they just embarrassing loss? Just teams just run it right down their throat. Okay. You you can't you can't stop this team if you can't stop the run. The, the the Browns can be beaten very easily, very easily. You have to stop the run. The Titans don't have the personnel to do that. By saying the Titans have a better defense, that's just wrong. They they don't. Now, the Browns have – I mean, the, the Titans have way better offense, way better offense because of the quarterback um, situation than the Titans do, all right? But I'm going to tell you, you take the Browns, you take the points. I think the Titans can win. I think the Titans win on a field goal. I think this is a very close, very tight – back and forth game. Yeah. That's I'm I'm looking at it. Cleveland number eleven uh against the run. Tennessee number sixteen against the run. They give up four point three yards per rush. So um in their last uh I will say this so, in their last so Ryan, three Ryan they're giving Jones, up 3.8. Ryan Jones says two things here. One, he asked who's better quarterback, Carson Wentz, Mitchell Trubisky. I'm not answering that question. That's a trap. <laughs> I'm not doing that. That's a trap. You're gonna make me say something positive about one of those two guys. I refuse. I just opt out. Who's my favorite team? I, I grew up a Patriots fan. Um, and, uh, and I've loved the city of Boston. I'm wearing my Boston hoodie now. It's just a general city of Boston hoodie. Um, greatest city in the world, just in case anybody was wondering. Uh, and, uh, and so that came along with all of those franchises and teams. I married into the Cleveland thing. So for about 17, 18 years, I haven't been married that long, but I've been going up there that long. Um, I have embraced the the Browns and I have embraced the Indians. I, re, I refuse to embrace the Cavs because I am a Celtics guy and I am a Grizz guy, and I already have my two teams there. So there you go, there you go, uh, Casey. Browns true. and Bears money line picks of the week. Or money somebody line said I the think week. the Steelers are. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> That's just somebody trying to stir some shit up. That's exactly what that is. I can get down with that. All right, moving on, we've got the Giants at the Seahawks. This is an afternoon game. Uh, the rest of these are afternoon. Um, you know, it, it, this is a big game, I guess, because it's... Chase uh, McSorley just threw a touchdown pass. Yeah, I see that. I see we uh, we have we have Trace in here. With I'm back, three I'm back to covering. I covered the entire game. That last touchdown screwed it for me. I'm back to covering. Oh, did you take the Ravens plus 10? Oh, hell yeah, 10 and a half. That's I've I've still got yes. uh I've still got my Steelers minus four ticket from last week. <laughs> yeah. yeah, about to bust it. Sorry, I digress. So, Let's go. Um, so, so with that, um, yeah, Giants and, and Seahawks. The only reason we're discussing this is because the Giants are leading the NFC East. They are. This is this is two first place teams. <laughs> this is two first place teams. It was a weird week trying to come up with. Big games, right? Yeah, it's <laughs> oh, it's so weird. Um, so, so with that said, uh, Seahawks ten point favorite here. I, I would imagine like Seattle plays down to the level of competition so much it drives me insane. They should cover this. Um, I you know, but but I have seen the Giants come back and cover in games that they have no business covering. You know, I, I don't imagine that they win. I could totally see the Giants covering 10, but I, you know, I don't know. All right. So yeah, give me give me something to work with here. <laughs> we have to we have to stop looking at the Seahawks from the first half of the season because that defense was atrocious. That defense was a bottom 10 defense in a season where nobody was playing a lot of defense. All right. They're pretty bad. Yeah, but that offense at that point they was, made was a likely... couple of acquisitions. Hang on. They made a couple of acquisitions, and now that defense is a lot better than they were when the when the season first started. Last two three weeks, we have seen a very very different Seahawks defensive team. Man, okay, yeah, but they're. It, I mean, they beat up on the Eagles last week. Like I, what do you think they're going to get with the Giants? Agreed. I just they will get a shit ass team. Yeah, they still gave up seventeen points. They only won by six. Like I understand it was a fluky whatever thing. Um, first off, first off, there was a touchdown drive that was a thirty-something yard penalty that should have been a penalty that didn't get called. By the way, the yeah. uh, the uh, um, uh, what's it called? Intentional grounding call where they were like he, you know, he got the ball past the line of scrimmage, and then on replay, no, he was like six yards behind the line of scrimmage. That was a 30-something yard penalty that That's they true. took off the board. There's no way the Eagles get that first down. They punt. Instead, they scored on that drive, by the way. So, uh, okay, that's, that's um, a valid point. 
That's valid. So anyway, point. so yeah, you take that, that off, and so, then a miracle touchdown to push the number. Come on, man. So in in this spot, like it, so, Daniel Jones, it, he's he's out for this game. Yes, um, Daniel Jones isn't playing. It, but does it does that make any difference? Like, it, how much of a difference yes, does it, he make? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Daniel Jones is not a good quarterback, but he's a lot better than what they got behind him. I don't even know who the backup is. I should know this. That's kind of an insult. Hang on. I'd say hey, it's all good. Uh, Ryan said. Uh, Oh, he said, is, no, Casey said, isn't Danny Dimes out? Uh, Ryan asked if they pulled RG3 out of the game, and, and yes, they yes. did. Um, he said, everyone's on the Falcons, and it pisses oh, me Colt, off. Colt McCoy came in in backup relief. Well, I mean, Colt's got experience. He's played, oh, so, you know. Okay. There we go. And, yeah, thank me for my service. Jumped in with that. Um, Colt, Colt McCoy hasn't played in, like, six years. Uh, he had uh, Didn't he break his leg? Last year, two years ago, whatever it was. Oh, I don't know. So, I don't remember that. that. That's shocking to me. I just remember he took over for RG3 in 2012. Okay. Or 2013. Yeah. yeah. That was that was eight years ago. Or seven that's, years ago. That's so ridiculous. That is so, so freaking ridiculous. All right. Um, let's move on. Seahawks minus 10. I think we're both rolling that way. I like um, to see chickens. Yep, the sea chickens it is. Rams at the Cardinals division game. Cardinals a three-point underdog at home. Um, yeah, and now, and now they got to share a stadium. So, but we'll talk about that here in a little bit. <laughs> um, yeah, so I the Cardinals always seem to find a way to win like this kind of a game, right? Am I, you know, help, help me out here? What I I, I feel. I, I want to bet the Cardinals so bad. I can't I can't help you here. I, I, I don't know what to do. Like, so my only the only reason I would touch this game is all is I would take the Rams if we find out or if we get any more kind of inkling that there's something wrong with uh Murray. Because two weeks ago he went down and it looked like he got hurt in that Patriots game. Um and he tried to come back and he tried to keep fighting and then he Look like shit last week, and it was just kind of one of those things where it's like, did he really get hurt? And is he playing through an injury? Um, if if he's hurt against this front four of the Rams, man, and that's I, a problem. I do I do not like the Cardinals at all. If he's fine, then I'm fine, and I'll take the Cardinals. I'll take the points. That's I, I'm I'm gonna roll that way. I'm gonna but take Murray, the Cardinals. Murray is the most important factor here. Oh, okay? yes, 100%. I mean, if if he is really hurt, he's going to struggle and he's going to be bad. If he's trying to play through an injury, that ain't good. I mean, that's just as bad as putting somebody who's garbage back there. You taking the Rams? I'm, I'm going to oh, – yes, right now we got to make our pick now. Yeah, for our pick yeah. thing, yes. But it's a reason it's not a gambling pick of mine is because I really like it one way or I really like it the other, all depending on this one person. Yeah, that's – I mean, it, and it is if he's very playing important healthy, I like the Cardinals a lot. If he's not healthy, I like the Rams a lot. Uh, Akbar Salawev jumped in. Uh, hopefully I said that right. He said, I think you guys missed my comment earlier, but you guys are the best. Hey, we appreciate that, Akbar. Uh, and then Ryan asked how my college basketball picks are going today. Uh, none of them has started. Uh, I've got four games. I think he tonight. was asking for the college basketball picks, right? No, he said how those college basketball picks are okay. going today. Yeah, I've got, my, my first game is Quinnipiac and Drexel. That's at 630. Then I got two at seven, one at eight. So I'm I'm good for a little while. I don't I don't have any money on the early games. Um Let's see. Colt experience playing on a on a bad team. He should be just fine. Cardinals money line from Casey. I'm taking the Rams if Jalen Ramsey plays from Ryan. Uh, Bears will knock out either the Rams or the Cardinals from the seventh seed. I think the Cardinals win and the Rams fade down the stretch. Uh, that was from Casey. And then <laughs> Case Storm said, "No, sir, Casey." <laughs> I don't think the Bears are making the playoffs. I don't think so either. Hey, uh, I wrote down Eagles at Packers. Do do we want to? Do we want to talk about this one? I I I don't have an opinion outside of the fact that one team's really good and the other team's really bad. And I was I was looking at it more from the eight and a half. Um, that 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 extra point and a half doesn't scare me. I don't think so either. I I think the Packers win this by two touchdowns. So, <laughs> ah, la, la, la. Packers can't stop teams that run the football. And Miles Miles Sanders is really good running back. Yeah, but, but Bar- their offensive Bar- line is still is still beat up. Yeah, but they they I don't just telling you they've been ran on by bad offensive lines before. Okay, 
<laughs> They're yeah. just not good at stopping the run. I don't understand that, by the way. I don't know how great defensive players are good at one part of defense, but not good at the other when they play on the front seven. Like, that doesn't make any sense to me. I can rush the quarterback better than anybody, but if he hands the ball to the person standing behind him, I can't ever tackle that guy. I don't know how that works, all right? I played football up until my 10th grade year, okay? I wasn't very good, but I consistently, if I got to the backfield, I could tackle either one of those guys. Yeah. It, did, it didn't matter if it was the quarterback or the running back. I could I could get them both. Uh, like Ryan asked... Oh, Casey jumps in. He's got Providence money line, Gonzaga minus eight and a half, and Baylor minus four and a half. Three leg pro- Hey, props to you, man. Uh, I I ain't touching any of those, any of those at all. Like I'm definitely not betting against Gonzaga, but uh, my numbers had that West Virginia Gonzaga line at like four. So <laughs> but either way, uh, what do you guys think the trade value of Carson Wentz and Mitchell Trubisky would be? Maybe a fourth round pick? No. no. No, it's there is zero. no trade value. There is no trade value. We're gonna we're gonna do this every week until you guys stop. And you just got to get it through your head. Nobody for Wentz. Nobody wants Wentz with that contract. And nobody no wants Trubisky. Wants that. And nobody wants Trubisky at all. Like they, if they he would, was cut tomorrow, if he was released tomorrow, he would have a hard time having a team pick him up. He, he now, somebody have, would pick him up, yeah. but they're not giving up an asset for him. No, absolutely not. There, there is no trade value. No. So, Casey said, uh, I know you think I'm crazy, but I think the Eagles win this game. Wentz has the Packers number. Uh, different different teams, different times, different everything. This, I do think this that's crazy. Thing. Yeah. Uh, Pat's minus one at the Chargers. Uh, you know, Chargers, not great. They seem to always lose really close ball games, so that one point... <laughs> There, uh, it kind of makes a difference. Uh, AK Storm jumped in. He said, two biscuits and a pack of noodles. No value. I'm not giving two biscuits away. <laughs> no, I'd eat them biscuits before I Hell take Hell yeah, I'm eating them biscuits uh, before I take on either one of those bastards. My God. Uh, so, I, I'm, I'm rolling Pats here. I think the Pats find a way to get it done. Justin Herbert has looked great all year, but he is still he won't. He won't look great this week. That's what I'm saying. Bill, Bill Belichick against a rookie quarterback doesn't usually go well. <laughs> uh, Bill Belichick against Anthony Lynn doesn't usually go well. That's that's my logic. I know the, I know the Patriots are playing the exact same game plan that the that the Ravens have been playing all year. We're trying to win football games without a quarterback right now. Look, it happens. Um, it, it, Justin Herbert's going to have a rough rough go of it come yes. Sunday. Yes, he is. Uh, let's see. I've got three soups on the Eagles, and Ryan said DK Metcalf is the best wide receiver uh, right yes. now. Yes, yes, he is. Yes, that's, that's I think right. that's defend. It's. Him and it's him and Hopkins. It's him and Hopkins. Yes. I think I would take him over Hopkins. He's way younger and just a freak of an athlete. Hopkins has hands. DK's dropped four or five big balls lately, and Hopkins drops nothing. But Hopkins isn't close to the athlete DK is anymore. Yeah. Uh, the Brown Yeti, by the way, jumps in. If you are good and balanced on both pass rushing and run stopping, you are Jadavian Clowney and supposedly not worth the money. Well, not worth. You might not be worth the money because he wants a lot of money, but you're still really good, and you make your defense better. I guess I think you do. Yeah, I think so. Uh, K Storm said, "I'll trade Carson Wentz for a PS5." I, yeah, I mean, nobody's if, if you giving had, you a PS5 for Carson Wentz. Yeah, no, nobody oh, would do that. PS5. Uh, Sunday night football: Broncos at the Chiefs. Chiefs are a thirteen and a half point <sighs> favorite, and. You know, I mean, the reason, of course, we're talking about this is it is the Sunday night game. Going to yeah. be a lot of eyeballs on it. Everybody likes to talk about Patrick Mahomes. Uh, this seems boring. The Broncos quarterbacks, all four of them were fined for breaking protocol, all that kind of mess. Um, you know, I I think the Chiefs can do whatever they want here. You know what's funny? I thought about this when I, when I heard the list of the quarterbacks. Locke was a third-round guy or a second-round guy? Second round. Like a okay. pick 44, 45, something like that. Or 42. Something like All their other course. quarterbacks are old veterans that just aren't good. They have to be spending less on their quarterback room than any team, any locker room in, in the country, right? Yes. I would bet the total amount of money that they're spending on their quarterback room. Like, if if we're talking about dollars and cents-wise, that's a position you kind of want to lose everybody in because it costs you nothing. Oh, 100%. Like, 
<laughs> that's that's the biggest thing. Uh, Casey said Chiefs covered. Did the Broncos even have a quarterback this week? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, none, yeah, none of those Lock guys tested play. positive. All, everybody's fine. Everybody's cleared to play. Everybody's fine. I still don't think They're it matters. They're just not any good. They're just yeah. not any good. Drew Locke's not good at football. Yeah. I, I'll take the Chiefs here. Uh, it's a division game. Chiefs always look for some reason to be excited about games, and, and they'll find one with this being a division game. So, uh, so we'll both take the Chiefs here. Uh, Monday Night Football, we got two games. We got Washington at the Steelers. Steelers, eight and a half point favorites. Uh, I'll go ahead and wrap up That's, Washington. That line's not right. That line's not right. That line's not right. What, did it change already? No, it hasn't changed at all. It opened at ten and a half. Hang on. No, it opened at twelve and a half. And, twelve and, and a half. Heritage, bet on nope. line. So, bet that on line. line. But keep keep going because it's th- those are bad numbers. Oh. I'm telling you, it's ten and a half or eleven everywhere. So basically, you can't, you can't actually go to a website and find it at that number. So we may just have to talk about the Monday night games on Monday, uh, like the Monday. Well, no, and Tuesday I mean, games. You could, I'm telling you right now, bet on. I'm looking at bet online right now has this line at eleven, at ten and a half. Strange. That's what the line is. What what they're saying on that website is not accurate. That's what I'm telling you. Interesting. All right. So so should we say ten? Line's ten and a half. The line's ten and a half. Just right. talk about the game. The line's ten and a half. Ten and a half. I will. Uh, you can't I'll take say it's Washington. eight and a half. You damn sure can't do that. I got you. I, I mean, I was looking at. So I've got Heritage at eight and a half. Bet Online nine. Wager Web eight and a half. So I'm telling you, those numbers are wrong. That's a. a I, I figure because most people don't even have the damn line up because the Steelers are still yes, playing. Because the Steelers are still playing right now. But if it if it's ten and a half, like I am damn sure taking Washington. Like Steelers play down to the level of competition all the time. And they will certainly do it again here against a pretty good defense. This is going to be low scoring. Uh, this will be what is it? A look ahead spot for uh, for the Steelers? Like, don't they play somebody after? Um, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm crazy. I'm, I have no idea what their schedule looks like. I I know. Oh, I know they play. This. Hey, 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 they they play. Uh, they play the Bills next Sunday, like the okay. Sunday after. I'm I'm going to tell you I like Washington and I almost don't care what the number is as long as it's over a touchdown. Um, we have seen teams lately, this Ravens team especially, when you know they can do nothing but run the football, run it right down the Steelers' throats. Yeah, like like there's ways to run on them. I don't. Some teams just can't do it at all. If Washington is smart and they've watched this game film and they they see what the Ravens are doing, they'll be and then. You, and then uh, uh, Gibson going to run all over them. Yep. yep. If they can run on them, they can get yards. They can control the line of scrimmage. They can slow the game down. They can the de-clock, defense, tick, 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 tick. The defense can get them points. Yep, yep, yep. I'm telling you, I think I think Washington is a is a sneaky spot for them. Anything over a touchdown, I like the, I like the football team. I am the same way. Uh, by the way, we've got guys talking about Trevor Lawrence. Uh, Ryan said Trevor Lawrence – uh, going to hold off going to the NFL if the Jets win the first pick. And then Casey said, uh, I think Trevor might refuse to go to the Jets and pull in Eli Manning, uh, not if Dabo is his coach. Just throwing it out there. Oh, please make that happen. For the love of everything that I know to be good and holy in this world. Just, just come on. Just throwing that out there into the ether, not saying that it's going to happen. but What do you think Dabo would be like in New York? I think we he would be laughed out of that locker room, but no, 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 in the city, in the, in city. the city. Oh God, it'd be horrible. Oh my God, he, if he thinks he gets too much media coverage and all that crap now, you're talking about country ass bumpkin oh, going sure. up to the big city and has to live there, not spend a weekend there at a Heisman, you know, dinner where it's all just college football guys around you. Well, he but, he could he could live across the river and there. There's there's some bumpkin stuff going on over in New Jersey. We all know that, right? Oh, I think there's some. Okay. It's not <laughs> New York City stuff, but it's some other stuff going on over there. It ain't bumpkin, though. Ryan said, where are you guys from? Hey, uh, we are we are just outside of Memphis, Tennessee. Yeah, we're in the Memphis, so, Tennessee area. We, we're bumpkin. Just state line in, in, in Mississippi. Don't don't let us fool you. We we are bumpkins. Like, oh, yeah. No, I have no – listen, I would not fare well. I, I would be fine because I don't give a shit what people think of me. Dabo 100% cares what people think of him. Oh, yes. Because he cries about it all the time. Yep, yep, you are correct. Uh, Casey said Dabo ain't leaving Clemson. Uh, I mean – I think I think that's true, by the I, way. I do, I do think that that is mostly true, but I have seen dumber stuff. Uh, Ryan said, how's the snow like in Tennessee? Uh, there's not enough of it. 
Well, not where we live. In not Gatlinburg, where, they got a bunch. Pigeon Forge and Smokies got a lot, no, which we're, I we're, like. We're down in the tri-state area. We're, we're, yeah, we're in Memphis. We're, we don't get a lot of snow. We're, we're 30 minutes from Arkansas, 30 minutes from Tennessee, 30 minutes from Mississippi. Like, just it's all a quick drive. It's all right there. So, is what it is. Uh, we got two more games. Bills minus two and a half at the 49ers. Um, this one's in Glendale, Arizona at the Cardinal Stadium. I So, I told you that I thought that I might roll with the 49ers this week. Okay. I don't think I'm going to. Okay. I don't. Like they they showed up against the the Rams last week, and you know I thought all right they're getting right they're getting together all that kind of stuff. I don't think that they are going to be able to stop this Bills offense, and I think that the Forty ers make it hard on themselves to be able to score points with you know what they've got. And I understand like it, Monster, you know he's back, all that stuff, you know whatever. But it's still Nick Mullins. I I think. There's not a lot of quarterbacks I would say this about. I, I do think that I really like Josh Allen a lot more in this spot than I do Nick Mullen. Um, I think I'm going to ride with Buffalo, man. I can get him at two. I can get uh, no. I can get him one and a half at Bet Online right now. Yeah, yeah. Get. I'll, I'll take. I'll take the Bills here. Um, I just. I, I don't know. It, it, it seems like there's too much upheaval going on with with the 49ers right now, having to relocate completely. Uh, Kyle Shanahan just looked like a completely defeated man uh, when he had to do his little press conference about that yesterday. Like, they're just they're having to completely up and move the entire organization this week, and they still got to play a game. So, I don't know. I, maybe maybe I'm crazy. Brown, yeah, no, you said he's got I, that, the bills, that's so. a, that's a legit thing, by the way. But I I trust in Kyle, and they're starting to get all these other guys back, and and I I. I think this is a different 49ers team that was before the season started. They're, they're a tough team. Yeah. I mean, hell, they were a tough team when they lost everybody. They were still a tough out. They still fight everybody hard. They don't ever quit. And uh, and and I, I just trust Kyle Shanahan. I, I like Sean McDermott a lot, okay? This is not a knock on him. But I there's, there's no coach right now in the NFL that I would take if we were drafting coaches right now for the rest of, you know, to, to start a career. I would take I would take Kyle. I mean that makes sense. We we got a lot of guys. I think he can win now, and I think he can win in 10, 20 years. We got a lot of guys in here. Uh, <laughs> thank me for my service. That best team in the NFL is the Niners. IR. <laughs> that's, that's it's a pretty, pretty, pretty good football team. Yes, it, it, it was a pretty. It was a, it was a damn good football team for a while. Your last crap said 49ers outright. Casey said I think the 49ers pull it out. Ryan Johnson said Richard Sherman and Mostert equals 49ers win. Akbar said they're getting Ayuk back. He's active now. Uh, and then the Yeti jumps in and says, uh, I got the Bills. So, a lot of love. Birdie, of course, jumping in with Robert Sala uh, being the true coach of the year in the NFL. Um, yeah, a lot, a lot of people having some 49ers love. I, I'm, I'm glad I got one guy on my Bills side over here. Uh, but I do, I, I've I seen do these, think Kyle Shanahan needs to be getting some, some, some coach of the year love. I have seen fishy lines with the 49ers this year already, and I have bet them, and I have gotten my ass handed to me. I am rolling the other way. Connor Owens jumps in. Who are y'all's favorites as of now for the Vanderbilt job? I like Will Healy. I don't know if he's going to get it. Uh, I don't know what they're planning on doing. There there seems to be some player revolt stuff going on. Message hey, board. Do or, they not have an athletic director? Are they running with a, like an athletic board? Yes. There's like a leader of their athletic department, but, but she's not. So it's a black woman named... Um, God, I cannot remember her name right now off the top of my head. Um, so but she's just the head of the board. No, no, she's no, not she's, the she, AD, right? She is the acting AD. She okay, makes okay. The I didn't know that. I thought they were running a board, and I thought she was the head of the board. No, 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 no. She is. Uh, okay. she's the head of the athletic department. So she's actually an active AD, an acting yes. AD. That's fine. I didn't know that. I was, I was under. I, I just thought they were running it with some weird ass board. I was like, God, oh, come on, Vanderbilt. Uh, Connor said uh, Clark Lee is the target. Even James Franklin has been listed. Yeah, on Monday's show, we went through that whole list from the Tennessee, and I don't know that Clark Lee is – I don't think he's going to take that job. I think he he can do better, which is crazy to say that about an SEC team, I know. But, uh, you know, there's – James Franklin is not coming back to Vanderbilt. That's not happening. No. Um, Clark Lee is – like, I think that's wishful thinking. Obviously, he's got ties to Vanderbilt. You know, there's – all kinds of ties. He's buddies with Tim Corbin, like all this kind of stuff. But 
I, I think they're looking more in the Jamie Chadwell, uh, Will Healy kind of spot. And, and I think that makes sense. I mean, there's no, there's no shortage of people that want the job. Barry Odom at Missouri wants another chance. Like, at, you just got to figure out exactly what you want. Do you want somebody to build a culture? Do you want somebody that can develop players? Do you want to try and recruit to Nashville? Um, you know, because you're always going to be on the back burner uh, of all these other SEC programs. You're, you're not even going to be the, the top guy in your own city. So, you know, it, right now you do not have the same situation that James Franklin had, which was a down Georgia, a down Florida, a down Tennessee, a down, like all this stuff that, that all just kind of worked perfectly for him. You don't have that right now. So you're going to have to get a guy like there's been some people talk about Jeff Munkin coming in and running triple option and whatever like I maybe that's a good option but I I don't know as far as as far as Vandy goes like my favorite for it would be Will Healy because he knows the area and he is a culture builder and that's I think what they need but I don't know cuz they they got problems in that locker room right now. They got issues. Uh Ryan Johnson wants to know how long we've known each other. Uh how old were we? 6? Second grade, wherever second grade people are. That'd be about seven. I couldn't tell you how old I was. About, about seven years old. So, yeah, we used to watch WWE stuff. I actually sent you a podcast today that uh, that I want you to listen to about about wrestling. So, <laughs> old school WWE stuff. Back when it was WWF, and it was better. Uh, when do you think a hire will be announced uh, before or after signing day? Um, I am shocked that we have a Vanderbilt football fan in here. I, I'll, I'll just go ahead and admit that. Um, so... I I would imagine that they will have somebody hired before signing day. They will get somebody in in the next few weeks, couple of weeks, whatever it is. Um, but I, I don't think it would have to do with the recruiting. I, I don't think that you fired Derek Mason early unless you want to go ahead and get your guy. Yeah, I agree. So, um, Birdie said, I was away for a bit for dinner in case I missed it, uh, and you were wondering, Eagles are my pick of the week, spread and money line. Uh, hey, Birdie, if you're right... Uh, we will definitely give you a shout out because Amen. man, <laughs> I could not bet my money 